across to the ladder. The red light appearing. The field is set. The third on the card. Favoritism is with cross statement. They stand in there well. The light continues to just flash. The gates are back on this occasion. They're off and pick your battles. Dwelt from the inside. Galaxy Cat lacked early speed. Life for life dropping out. New had the first to go. Looking to burn across and head cross statement. Driving up there as Fair Joy. Our boy Dylan settled right behind those. Wider on the course is Al Capone. Spirit and fires out in the middle of the track and couldn't get in. Then Guns of Navarone going up one off the rail. Pick your battles. Galaxy Cat were next and two lengths away. Life for life dropping out a clear last. Leaving the riverside, they go past the 550. It's New Had. She leads the way from Fairjoy, pushing away off the inside cross statement now. So cross statement off the fence and about to quickly tackle the leader, New Had, from Fairjoy. Our boy Dylan trails those. Pick your battles getting right up along the fence. Galaxy Cat, then Al Capone, Guns of Navarone. At the 200, New Had headed on the outside by cross statement. Our boy Dylan, cross statement, our boy Dylan. Our boy Dylan reaches the lead from cross statement live for life getting home strongly along the rail in a driving finish they went to it our boy Dylan might have just won but there's nothing in it our boy Dylan cross statement went to the line locked together life for a life coming from last right up on the fence third home from Galaxy Cat then pick your battles new had guns of Navarone it didn't fire a shot followed further back then when they'd pulled up Al Capone spirit and fire and the last of them in is fair joy Well, it looked as though our boy Dylan might have won this. Dive coming back, though, from cross statement on the rail makes it really interesting. Really interesting. We wait for the placings. Our boy Dylan's got the judges nod, though. Number one. Our boy Dylan, Lucy Warwick, scores from four cross statement and eight life for a life at big odds from last and just tracking up along the fence into third spot fourth is number seven galaxy cat the margin is a short half head and it's a half a length between second and third and they've run one zero four eight four one zero four eight four warwick had our boy dylan beautifully placed settled in behind the speed tracking up about fourth and fifth throughout Cross statement away from the fence to challenge the leader you had at the top of the home straight. Our boy Dylan just drifting up behind those. And uh, not much of an offering from back there in the field other than life for a life who was able to save ground. But it's our boy Dylan by so secret from Sturpak, a mere train by the Parkers from some years ago written by Lucy Warwick home in 3516 owned by Mrs C and G Ace John Parker Mrs R Parker and Miss A Broad and Nev Parker Lucy Warwick aboard the winner cross statement two seconds from as many runs now this preparation by press statement out of Spur Cross for Tina Lois Taylor Paul Quartermain trained by Jim Taylor written by Lakdar Romilly Life for a Life, an All-American Love of My Life, Gelding, trained by Dean White for N. Bizak, M. McKenzie, A. Steele, and handled by Sean O'Donnell, who's right there in the thick of it all this afternoon after the first three. Race four, the C-Corp handicap over 1,800. It's the next of the day. Big field, 15 running, 1.58 starting time. Scott Embry joining us down there in the yard with Nev Parker here after this victory of our boy Dylan. And a good pick by Scotty as well going into the third. Thanks, Mac, and a great race choice, I would have thought, too, by Neville Parker. Neville, you've been struggling probably to pick the right race. We'll get you to take the mask off so you can answer these questions, but it's been tough with his rating to get him. Is it a 72? Is it a 66? Is it this 60 with weight? Talk us through the last sort of three months of placing him. Yeah, you're exactly right. He's not a huge horse in stature, so he's probably going to start to find things a bit difficult now. He's probably a fringe 72, 66-plus horse. Like With the right run, he's competitive at those grades. Um, and we're lucky we got three points off in his last two runs. It sort of allowed us to come back here. And um, still carrying the 60, I'd be a little more comfortable, like I said, in his stature to be maybe a couple of kilos down. But all in all, he's a tough horse. And like I say, he gets the right run, the right tempo. He's, he's going to be thereabouts. And last start, he got no luck at all from an awkward draw, did he? Yeah, that was just a complete rule of line. And I was 
lucky and surprised in a sense to see him come home and pull up really well. Um, I think Brad didn't really knock him around the last furlong. Um, but yeah, he did it pretty tough and we sort of didn't worry about that too much. What about distance range? You've always sort of tried to keep him to the 1,000, the 1,100. Will you test a 12? Yeah, I'd love to. Um, just like I said, I don't think he's quite brilliant enough at the 66 plus, 72 plus at the 1,000. But um, I'd love to see him get an extra furlong. And his mother was a good horse over, over the seven furlongs. So we'd like to push there when, when he starts to mature. How many horses at home at the moment? Just the two, mate. So pretty quiet. We've got a bub on the way, and um, that's sort of taken direct focus at this point. Well, that's a lot of uh, nappy money. Well done there, Neville. Yeah, probably a couple of weeks. That'll do. Uh, got to start somewhere. Neville Parker there with the victory of our boy Dylan. One, four, eight, and two. And the numbers there, cross statement, very, very brave. Bursting his way through to take on New Hat at the top of the straight. Really nice ride too from Lucky Rummily. But Lucy Warwick, right place, right time. Our boy Dylan, here she is with Michael Heaton. Yeah, gave the horse a lovely ride. Uh, Lucy back in grade today, drew a nice barrier, one out, one back. Everything to seemed to go to plan. Yeah, it really did. And even um, the second horse just did the bullocking work for us and it um, pushed the, the horse outside the leader out the way. And we just managed to not have to go around a single horse and wait. And even just the last 50, he probably just felt the pinch of the 60 kilos. But um, really, really good. And happy to see him back in some form. 1,100 metres today. We know him best over 1,000 metres. You think maybe back to 1,000 probably would be at his best? Yeah, he's 1,000, 11, 12 is just where he's comfortable. It just depends on the race. Um, but done, uh, Nev's done a really good job getting back in the winner's stall. Yeah, it's been uh, a big day for, or it's going to be a big day for you. Penny on the Queen, of course, and the size produce stakes. You looking forward to that? Yeah, surely am. She's um, been a little bit unlucky last start, and she definitely has um, all the class, I reckon, to be number one this time. All right, best of luck. Thank you. There's Lucy Warwick and Neville Parker, one, four, eight, and seven. It's our boy Dylan in the third here at Ascot.